In today's lecture, we will discuss about the corona loss as well as the factors affecting corona loss. So, as we all know, there are free electrons present in the air surrounding the conductors. So, the velocity with which these electrons moves is not sufficient to dislodge the electrons from other air molecules. So, it needs certain extra velocity to strike the other air molecules. So, this extra velocity is taken from the supply voltage. That is energy required for the electrons to remain in motion and to strike other air molecules is taken from the supply. So, this additional energy which is taken from the supply accounts for the corona loss. So, a scientist named Peak, he conducted few experiments based on the factors responsible for this corona loss. And he arrived at an empirical formula which is given by P is equal to 241 into 10 to the power minus 5 into F plus 25 by del square root of R by D into V minus V dash the whole square kilowatt per kilometer per phase. Okay, So, it is not a derived formula. So, it is an empirical formula arrived as a result of certain experimental results. Okay, So, here F is the supply frequency del air density correction factor, V is the operating voltage in kilovolt, V dash also denoted as VD or VC, critical disruptive voltage. Okay, so what is corona loss? The energy acquired or taken by the free electrons from the supply system to maintain its motion so as to strike the other air molecules to produce an avalanche of free electrons is called as corona loss. So, the additional energy taken from the supply by the electrons to maintain its motion and to strike other air molecules is called corona loss. So, if you look onto the limitations and peak formula, this formula give accurate results only for the frequency of this range that is 25 to 120 hertz and provided the radius of the conductor should be greater than 0.25 centimeter and the ratio of the operating voltage by critical disruptive voltage should be greater than 1.8. So, under this setup, under this parameter, he has arrived at the empirical formula. And moreover, if you, if there is a small error in choosing the value of surface regularity factor M0, the result for the corona loss will not be accurate. So, now let us discuss the factors affecting corona loss. So, basically there are three factors, electrical factors, atmospheric factors and factors connected with the conductor. So, let us discuss one by one. The first one is electrical factors. Under the electrical factors, frequency and waveform of supply. So, we know the corona power loss is directly proportional to frequency. From the formula of P, we notice that the corona power loss is directly proportional to frequency. So, if we increase the frequency of operation, corona loss will also increase. So, that is the reason why the corona loss in DC line is less compared to the corona loss in AC line. Okay. So, coming to the nature of the waveform. So, in the case of AC line, apart from the fundamental frequency of 50 hertz, there exist third harmonic waveforms also. Okay. So, the frequency of the third harmonic component will be 3 into the fundamental frequency, which is 3 into 50, which is 150 hertz. So, due to the presence of the third harmonics in AC line, the corona power loss will still increase because the power loss is directly proportional to frequency. So, coming to the next electrical factor, field surrounding the conductor. So, here we know electric field is a function of the operating voltage and the electric field is also, the fun also a function of the conductor configuration. So, in three phase overhead transmission line, basically we have three types of configurations. One is horizontal, vertical, horizontal configuration, vertical configuration and delta configuration. So, in horizontal configuration, all the conductor lines will be in 
the same plane. So A to B will be same distance. B and C will be the same. Distance between A and C will be twice that of A, B or B, C. So if you take vertical configuration, the, all the conductors will be placed one below the other in the same plane. If you take delta configuration, it is equivalent to placing the conductors at the corners of an equilateral triangle. So for example, if you take the horizontal configuration of conductors, the conductor B is in the middle. Okay, So the electric field near the middle conductor B is large compared to the outer conductors A and C. So the electric field experienced by the conductor B will be more compared to the outer conductors A and B. So because of high electric field on conductor B, the voltage at which the corona occurs, that is critical disruptive voltage B dash, will be less for conductor B. Okay. So if V dash is less, what about the power loss? Will be more on B. Because power loss is equal to, is directly proportional to V minus V dash the whole square. So if V dash is less, this factor will be less. Square of this factor will, V dash is less, this factor V minus V dash will be more. Square of V minus V dash will be still more, which will increase the loss on conductor B which is in the middle. Also, if the conductor spacing is irregular, if the conductor spacing is irregular, the coronal loss occurring on various conductors will also be unequal. Okay, Because lesser the spacing between the conductors, more will be the potential gradient. So if conductor spacing is irregular, the potential gradients at the surface will become unequal among the conductors. Hence, it experiences unequal corona loss. And the second major factors are atmospheric factors. So, in that, the first one is pressure and temperature effect. So, we know that the corona loss is inversely proportional to air density correction factor. Also, the corona loss is directly proportional to V minus V dash, the whole square, where V dash is proportional to del. And if you see del, the air density correction factor, del is equal to 3.92 B divided by 272 plus T. Okay. See, first proportional relation is corona loss is inversely proportional to del. Okay. So, if del is less, corona loss will be more. Okay. So, if del is more, corona loss will be less. Now, coming to the second proportionality, V dash is proportional to del. So, if del is less, V dash will be, V dash will be less. If del is less, V dash will be less. If V dash is less, V minus V dash will be more. V minus V dash square will be more. Hence, P will be more. So, from the from both the proportionality relations, we write less value of del increases corona loss P. Less value of del increases corona loss P. So, with respect to this equation, let us see what are the factors which makes del less. See, del is directly proportional to B, inversely proportional to temperature. So, if the barometric pressure is less, del is less. If the atmospheric temperature is high, del is low. Okay. So, for the atmospheric conditions, when the pressure is less, followed by high temperature, the corona loss will be more. So, that is the reason why the corona loss is more on high areas than plain areas. The next atmospheric factor is dust snow rain and hail effect okay so whenever there is dust in the atmosphere or whenever there is snow deposits on the conductors or whenever it is raining or whenever it is raining with hailstone fall all these things try to clog or deposit on the conductor 
so when it deposits on the conductor at the place of deposition the space between the conductor reduces which increases the potential gradient which in turn in reduces the voltage at which corona occurs v dash okay so if v dash is reducing v minus v dash increases v minus v dash square increases which increases the loss so the presence of dust snow rain or hail in the atmosphere increases the loss and the third factor main factor is factors connected with the conductor factors connected with the conductor in that first one is diameter of conductor so from the equation for power loss we know corona power loss is proportional to square root of r by d where r is the radius where r is the radius okay so if radius is more diameter will be more for for larger diameter conductors radius will be more which increases the corona loss which increases the corona loss also from the same power loss equation we have p directly proportional to v minus v dash square v dash is g not m not del r ln d by r so for conductors with larger diameters radius will be more okay ln of d by r will be less and from this equation v dash is proportional to r okay so if radius is more that is for large dia conductors radius is more v dash is more okay so if v dash is more what about this term v minus v dash reduces what about v minus v dash square reduces okay so if r is more this term will reduce which reduces the power loss so now from both this proportionality relation see here it says this equation says larger diameter power loss increases here it says larger diameter reduces the power loss okay but if you compare both the proportionality the effect of the second proportionality is more than the first one because here it is square there it is square root so we can conclude that larger diameter conductors reduces the corona loss okay so the next conductor factor is number of conductors per phase so by using more two or more conductors per phase so two or more conductors per phase is called as bundled conductors okay so if you use bundled conductors rather than using a single conductor per phase the overall diameter per phase increases so in the previous factor we concluded that larger diameter reduces the corona loss so by bundling the conductors the overall diameter of the conductor per phase increases which reduces the corona loss the next factor related to conductors the profile of the conductor so the conductor comes in different shapes it can be cylindrical oval flat etc okay so if you see the cylindrical conductor it has less corona loss compared to any other shapes because the field electric field is distributed uniformly on a cylindrical conductor because it is having a smoother surface than oval or flat okay so the cylindrical conductor due to the electric field uniformity has less corona loss and the next factor is surface condition the next factor is surface condition so the deposition of dust on the conductor reduces v dash okay so if there are dust particles or some other dirt particles on the conductor there will be a small projection in that place which will reduce the distance between the conductors having that dusty deposits okay so if the distance reduces the potential gradient increases which makes the corona to occur at a lesser voltage okay that means v dash crit uh, critical disruptive voltage reduces so if v dash reduces what will happen losses increases so the deposition of dust or dirty particles 
on the conductor surface increases the loss okay so irregular surfaces also will increase the loss irregular surfaces also will increase the loss and the next factor is heating of the conductor by load current okay so if the conductor is not carrying any current the atmospheric temperature will be slightly higher than the conductor temperature okay but when the conductor carries some current it experiences some heating effect okay so as we as we have already discussed during the foggy conditions or during uh, snow region in snow regions or during rainy seasons there is a chance for deposition of the snow or dew drops or the water drops rain water drops on the conductor okay so if there are deposition on the conductor you know v dash will reduce the corona will occur at a lesser critical disruptive voltage okay but when the load current flows through the conductor and because of the load current the conductor will get heated up and the dew deposition or snow deposition will try to will try to go away fast okay or in the case of rain drops present on the conduct surface the rain water gets evaporated fast okay so the heating of conductor by load current has some indirect effect on reducing the corona loss okay so dew deposition or the snow deposition or the rain water accumulation on the conductor will not last long okay so it will uh, evaporate fast by the heating produced by the load current which in turn reduces the corona loss so coming to the methods of, to reduce the corona loss it is just a summary of whatever factors we have discussed earlier use larger diameter conductor use larger diameter conductor we have already justified this with respect to the diameter of conductor factors connected with the conductor the first factor with respect to this equations we have already justified that larger diameter reduces the loss the second one is hollow conductor okay so hollow conductor usage of hollow conductor is it another method of increasing the diameter of the conductor without sacrifice without going for much weight on the conductor because you take a ac zr conductor the middle conductor will be hollow the outer there will be so many strands okay so this we are using acsr con conductors in order to have less weight in order to uh, reduce the skin effect and so on okay so by using hollow conductor overall diameter increases without increasing the without increasing the weight of the conductor so overall diameter increased which will reduces the corona third one is bundle conductor we have seen usage of bundle conductors also reduces the corona loss because bundle conductor uses more than one more than two conductor per phase thus increasing the overall diameter 